So to complete the write-up, you just need to write a simple conclusion. And again, our conclusion is going to be based on the insight confidence interval um, using the bootstraps. So the first thing we need to do is get our bootstrap confidence interval. So I can run through that real quick with you. Um, again, you guys will have to go onto the remote desktop or the one you have downloaded onto your computer. But you're going to create a bootstrap confidence interval. So you click on that and hit run VIT module have to import your data and again yours probably have a data folder inside a data that says um, Ringariru data but I forgot to hunt mine down so here I'm looking at the rugby players and I've got their information in here now remember before you go any further you've got to make sure that you um, select what the variable is that you're looking at. So we are comparing weights and I'm setting it up into groups of position so make sure you get that. And next thing for us then is to go to analyze and you can see if I just drop this down a little bit might be able to see it all. Um, you can see in here that we've got my dot plot going for the backs and for the forwards and I'm just about to do the bootstrap interval on it. So, I don't want to compare my means. In this case, I'm asking about the median, so I'll select median. I need to hit record my choices. That might take a minute for it to sort its brains out. Remember this 1850? That's what we just talked about in the analysis. That's the difference between the sample means. That's the difference between the sample of the backs and the sample of the forwards that you have. But to do our bootstrap, um, I'm not going to explain it in this video exactly how it works. We'll did that in other videos, but um, you can go ahead and just click on a thousand at the bottom and hit go. So you don't have to hit that intermediary go button, just skip it if you want just your confidence interval and just go for it. So again, this is resampling these original samples a thousand times and taking the difference between the mean of each of those resamples and putting them down into a dot plot below. And so this is our distribution of the differences of the means between all of our resampled um, data sets or all our resampled uh, information here. So once I've done that, I'm going to say show my CI. So that was again just the difference between the original samples. So we don't even really need to know that. But it's giving me a confidence interval here between 15.5 and 23 kilograms. So again, what does this mean? These are both positive um, numbers. Zero is well outside the confidence interval. And so if it's positive, it means that the bottom number is bigger. And if you take a look at this graph, that makes a lot of sense. Look at those forwards. They look a lot bigger than the backs. So here I'm saying the forwards are between 15.5 kgs bigger and between 23 kgs bigger, potentially, in my confidence interval. So you could screenshot this and you'd put it into a report, but we just need those numbers, 15.5 and 23, which may be different than what are written into here. Um, so we'll just cross those out because we just calculated it to be 15.5 and what was it 23? 23 kgs. So depending on how they put in their data they must have done it the other way around so that the um, backs were on bottom. But we'll make some tidy ups here for that. Okay so making our formal inference the first thing that you do is just write down the CI just say what it is. So the CI is between 15.5 kgs to 23 kgs. Next thing we need to do is interpret. And this is one of the most important parts of the internal. So make sure we get it. So from my random sample and the bootstrapping confidence interval, I can be reasonably, remember you cannot be 100% sure, you have to only be likely or reasonably confident, so I'm reasonably confident that the forwards in New Zealand and South African super teams will weigh between, in this case, what did we get? Again, it's okay that there's a slightly dif different than ours because each time you run the bootstrap you should get different numbers because it is a random process, but they will be similar. So we'll change that one to match the 15.50 kgs and the 23 kgs more than the backs on average. So here I'm talking about making sure that I get my variable, what I'm talking about, that they weight 
and on average because I'm comparing the medians. So from my random sample and bootstrapping confidence interval, I can be reasonably confident that the Fords in New Zealand and South African super teams will weigh between 15.5 and 23 kilograms more than the backs on average. Okay. So the last bit then would be to make our claim. And remember this has to do with whether the confidence interval includes zero or not. So um, based on looking at my sample, I'm reasonably confident that the back in the, the back in the population of the New Zealand and South African, so I'm getting back in the population, African super rugby players, that forwards will weigh more than black backs on average. That on average is really important because we're talking about means and medians here. I can make this call as the confidence interval says that the forwards are likely to weigh between, in our case, 15.5 and 23 kgs more than backs. I can make the call as the entire confidence interval is positive, or another way to say that is I can make the call because zero is not in the confidence interval. I'll just say CI. So remember, if zero is inside of it, there's no difference between them. If zero is outside of it, there is a difference between them. So that is our basics. That is the very basic that you would need to do to actually pass this report. Um, so next step for you guys is to try to practice this. And we've got seven other write-ups that you can do to the basics level to just make sure you get that sussed and sorted before you move on to the higher level stuff.